friends let's begin with the first concept here what will be the remainder if d is divided by 13 where d is the multiplication of 27 28 29 and 30 friends if this sort of questions are asked in any competitive examinations the aspirants are not expected to do this multiplication then divide it divide by uh, that multiplication by 13 then they have to find out the remainder definitely there must be some logic because all these sort of examinations we are we have time constraint so if we do this problem by manual methods will uh, we will be taking more than 10 minutes to solve it okay so there must be some logic some algebra some techniques behind this so let's begin what that uh, let's begin to uh, see what the technique can be okay friends now here d is 27 into 28 into 29 into 30 we have a number 26 that is closer to all these numbers so let's uh, break the number into a multiple of 13 and its remainder now if 27 is divided by 13 we'll be getting the remainder as 1 since 27 is 26 plus 1 similarly if we divide 28 by 13 we'll be getting the remainder as 2 since it is 26 plus 2 then it is 26 plus 3 and then it is 26 plus 4 okay so if we multiply all these numbers all the numbers or all the components will be divisible by 13 except the product of 1 2 3 and 4 how it is possible let's do it through algebra suppose i have a number ax plus 13 i'm sorry ax plus uh, maybe b and cx plus d okay this expression if i wish to divide by x then what is the remainder which i'll uh, which i'll get let's calculate so it's uh, let's multiply the numbers let's multiply the expression it's a c x square plus b c x plus a d x plus b d now if i wish to divide the entire expression by x okay so this term is multiple of x so you won't be getting any remainder even this term is multiple of x you won't be getting any remainder similarly this term is also multiple of x so we won't be getting any remainder we'll be getting remainder as b d only okay so uh, the similar uh, case if we apply over here so if we are going to multiply all these terms we'll be getting the remainder as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 friends there is a fantastic algebra behind this concept so once you learn that algebra once you grasp that algebra then every time you need not uh, uh, write the expression like this i'm just writing it for the sake of uh, clarity okay friends so uh, i can take one more example let's wait friends here, here i am having x plus y whole square now what x plus y whole square is x square plus 2xy plus y square so if this expansion if i divide it by uh, x what is the remainder that i'll be getting is this term is multiple of x this term is multiple of x so i'll be getting remainder from y square only that is this this that means y square similarly if i write x plus y whole cube it will be x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube similarly if i divide x plus y whole cube by x from here i won't be getting any remainder from here i won't be getting any remainder from here i won't be getting any remainder i'll be getting remainder from here only if i put minus over here then also doesn't matter so uh, i can what uh, x minus y whole square that is x square minus 2xy 
plus y square. So I divided by x. Further, I'll be getting remainder from this portion. Similarly, x minus y whole cube. It will be x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. So I'll be getting remainder from this part only. So it's very simple friends. Doesn't matter the power is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we give the expansion to this polynomial, we will be getting the remainder from this extra part only. Let's uh, expand this. Now suppose I have a number x plus y raised to n and if I wish to divide this expression I have uh, this is a polynomial if I wish to divide this expression by x the remainder will be y raised to n the remainder will be obtained from y raised to n sometimes this y raised to n can be bigger than x then further we have to give it a breakup. Okay, friends, now if it, is, uh, if it is x plus y raised to n, then we'll be getting the remainder uh, from y raised to n. And if it is x minus y raised to n, then we'll be getting the remainder from minus y raised to n. Now, it depends upon n. If it is an even number, uh, then minus uh, sign will not be there. And if it is an odd number, we'll be getting negative signs. So, application of this will be uh, taking uh, in with some examples. Okay, friends. So this is actually the concept of binomial theorem. But as such, we don't have to uh, learn binomial theorem. It is simple algebra, which is only required to solve these sort of problems. So let's take some examples. Uh, 